So this is the chop saw. Um, when you step up to the chop saw, you want to make sure that you have eyeglasses on, eye protection. Um, make sure that you don't have anything hanging loose, like jewelry or a loose shirt or anything. Um, and this saw will always be down and locked. And to unlock it uh, is on the left side. There's a pin. You pull out this pin, pull that out. It'll release the saw up. So now it's ready for use. Um, it's already plugged in. Um, we've got a piece of material. This is the fence of the saw. The main thing to remember is that you want your material to be tight against the fence. We're only doing cross cuts on this saw. You should never be doing a, a rip cut or a cut with the grain on this particular machine. Cutting across the grain, making sure that material is against the fence, and then your job is to hold this into the fence and down to the table with one hand. So you can do that on this side or this side. But the main thing you want to remember is you do not want to cross your arms. You should never be holding it here and doing this because then your arm is in the way of the blade. Keep your arms apart and you'll be safe. Your fingers should never be more than like within six inches of the blade. There's hand signs here to let you know that. Your hand should not be within the space. So you're going to hold the material outside of that. And then the other hand will pull the saw down. And then this trigger is a double lock. So you've got to unlock it and then pull the trigger. You'll do that. You want to make sure that the saw is running the whole time, but you never want to start with the, the blade in the, in the material and then turn it on. You want to turn it on and then come down into the material, bring it back up and then release. And then wait till everything stops before you go in and get your waist out of the way.